The iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max are a big deal literally because they have larger displays at 6.3 inches and a whooping 6.9 inches. The latter is the largest display ever on an iPhone. But they are also a pretty big deal because of all the other upgrades Apple is packing into this year's Pro models. Both the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max get a new A18 Pro chip that's designed from the ground up for Apple intelligence features and a new dedicated camera control button that's designed to make everything from zooming to changing focus depth easier. A new 48 megapixel ultra wide camera captures impressive macro shots and you can record cinematic slow motion video at 4K 120 FPS. Apple also promises longer battery life and better sustained performance along with more durable designs. I went hands on with both the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max and I came away impressed with the new designs and features. Both could make our best phone list but the camera control was a bit finicky. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max are bigger than their predecessors but not overwhelmingly so that's because Apple managed to trim the bezels way down. In fact, these are slimmest borders on an iPhone yet. I put out 6.9 inch iPhone 16 Pro Max and 6.7 inch iPhone 15 Pro Max side by side and the new iPhone was only marginally bigger. However, some people may prefer the 6.3 inch iPhone 16 Pro because it achieves that nice middle ground of device size versus display size. And it's not much heavier, we are talking the difference between 7.8 ounces for last year's Pro Max versus and 8 ounces for iPhone 16 Pro Max. Meanwhile, at a shade over 7 ounces, the iPhone 16 Pro is just 0.4 ounces heavier than its predecessor. Apple also promises a more durable design thanks to a new ceramic shield display that the company claims is 2x tougher than glass on any other phone. Just as important, there is a new internal architecture that improves heat dissipation and allows for 20% better sustained performance. This is key because many users have complained about overheating on the iPhone 15 Pro series. You still get a titanium frame on the iPhone 16 Pro but there is a new desert titanium color which I think is a bit more peace than gold. These joints, black, white and natural titanium options. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max OLED displays themselves look good with a rated 2000 nits of brightness but that's behind the Pixel 9 Pro and 9 Pro XL. You get the same 120Hz refresh rate that's been a mainstay on Apple's Pro phones for several generations now. Overall, the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max don't look all that different, but I appreciate the slimmer bezels and the promise of better durability. In terms of camera upgrades, Apple packs a fair number of improvements into the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max, starting with a 48 megapixel Fusion main camera that's designed to cut down on shutter lag. At least based on the sample photos, it looks like these cameras can take sharp images of things like a flowing dress in motion with good sharpness, but we'll be putting that to the test. The bigger upgrade is the 48 megapixel ultra wide camera, which enables better wide angle shots, but also much more impressive macro shots. I saw a close up of a flower and was blown away with the level of detail. Videographers will appreciate the ability to capture 4K 120fps video in slow mo video. I saw a video of a guy on a motorcycle, and when things slowed down, I could see his jacket rippling in the wind. The audio capture gets an upgrade too while recording video thanks to improved studio quality mics. You can make it sound like the video was recorded in a studio or make the vocal tracks front and center with environmental noises in the background. You decide and the wind reduction is improved too. The iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max both look like solid upgrades, but the iPhone 16 Pro could be the better value. You get the same 5x telephoto zoom as the larger Pro Max in a smaller design and the screen is big enough where you might not have Max and Y. I personally prefer a larger screen and the longest battery life so I would probably go for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, but if you are on a tighter budget, go regular Pro, stay tuned for our full rated review.